Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction Technically review vidya and I'll explain why in just a bit. Uh, we are having a look the little brother from another mother uh, my man Jiminator J Has just recorded his first solo track and uh, be advised full disclosure the song is not mixed, so I'm not going to be looking at, like, the mix or anything like that because this is actually a rough draft, you know what I'm saying? Um, I did talk to my man because uh, the song is unlisted. He has it unlisted. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to want me to share the link so, you know, everyone else can get a, a little peek at this. Um, but he did say that I can react to it. So, Bubba J, if you want me to share this out so other people can peep it out, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below that uh, I can share the link uh, in the description so I can post it. But until then, let's go ahead and check, check out my man's first song that, again, is a rough draft. So, again, we're not going to be looking at the mix. What I'm going to be uh, looking for is my man's uh, technique, his approach, you know what I'm saying, the uh, flow, the cadence and whatnot, and uh, syllable counts and what have you. So... Without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and pay no mind, by the way, to the to the J Nomad name. Apparently, that was one of his many rap names. Uh, we did talk about, you know, branding and my man keeping his name as is. You know what I mean? So, yeah, he, he goes by Jiminator J. And uh, some of us who uh, are close to him, you know what I'm saying? We sometimes call him Bubba J. You know what I'm saying? That's just our nickname for him. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. Like I said, without further ado. Like the here, here. Go. <clears throat> and he did want me to mention that he did make this beat, by the way. So anyway, because my man is a beat maker. He is a producer. You know what I'm saying? If y'all if y'all want, you know, some, some dope beats from my man. I just bought a beat from him uh, not long ago. I uh, haven't done anything with it just yet. I got to spend some time with it in order to figure out what I want to do with it. But, uh. For future reference, though, if you're an MC and you want some dope beats, you know, hit up my man Jiminator. You know what? I um instead of linking the video, I'll link his channel, uh, where the video link would ordinarily be. So that way, y'all want to go check him out, more than welcome to do so. And make sure y'all subscribe to him and put the bells on. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> Never need the validation from the people that be talking smack On my way to greatness, I be slipping like a wall plaque like. Flow is rotten like you would be thinking that I'm smoking crack and Had to bring it back one time, nobody loves a boom bap Nobody Okay, so Internet, you playing games with me again? What the hell? He loves a boom Alright, so I'll make sure the internet's not playing games with me again But anyway, uh, I love the start But already we got a little bit of of a rush job there i see you uh try to squeeze in some syllables there you know what i'm saying um never be afraid to rewrite your verses you know what i mean to make sure that they fit with the flow and the rhythm of the beat you know what i'm saying right my flow is rotten like you would be thinking that i'm smoking crack had to see right there where you're you're uh, thinking that that i'm smoking crack you know what i'm saying instead of saying where you're thinking that i'm smoking smoking crack you could have easily just said um you 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 thinking i'm smoking crack i think if you <clears throat> take out the i were um all you had to do was just say you 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 thinking i'm smoking crack i think that would have came across better than your original line but that's just me though to bring it back one time nobody loves a boom bap nobody gave me chances so i'm taking all of theirs leave them off balance we'll be playing solitaire one of reassurance well no i don't really care i was only ha i will say you do you do definitely got the timing right there on the beat drop the i i i do feel like the the uh, timing there is it is good right there it could be a little bit better sure but i think for the most part, you, you did a decent job with, with the with the timing there on the beat droppage. And so far, I'm liking the beat, um, the flow, and the beat together. It, it kind of gives me a, a mob deep feel. Not I'm not going to say shook ones, but it definitely has like um, the mob deep type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Hibernating, but you poked and woke the sleeping bear. And he's hungry. Time okay, I need to wind this back because uh, we did have, have a discussion about the sleeping bear line. Tear. One the reassurance, well no, I don't really care. I was only hibernating, but you poked and woke the sleeping bear. Uh. And he's home. 
Okay, so yes, I do agree. Um, I believe it was my man Jay from the Redneck Riviera. Shout out to my man Jay who brought up a good point about you, 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 you uh, poked, you poke and woke the sleeping bear. Um, I think the woke part uh, was not needed. Uh, all you had to do was just say poke the sleeping bear, because then what, like, like my man Jay said during our, our discussion, what happens when you when you poke a sleeping bear? That bear gonna, gonna wake up pissed off, ready to freaking claw your face off. You know what I'm saying? So it's a given when you poke a sleeping bear. You know what I mean? Um, you don't need to get very detailed with stuff like that. It's pretty much a given. Lines like that are pretty much a given. I'm just saying. So yeah, I think if you got the got rid of the woke part and just put poke the sleeping bear, you would have got a much better flow, a much better rhythm. You know what I'm saying? To go with that beat. Hungry. Time to hunt for the scraps, found the scent, follow tracks, blood trail, follow pack, stalk it back, go attack, carve it down to the bone. In Cause see, I like this part right here, and I think the the way you hit that sleeping bear line, it um it, it kind of threw you off a little bit, but right here the flow was, was was decent. But had you switched up that sleeping bear line to just you know poke the sleeping bear, it would have kept that that flow going. It would have kept that rhythm going. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Anyway. In the fray, in the gray, nothing left to decay. Wasting all your time, lollygagging all about celebrities. I got a point to. Mmm, a little, little bit of a pacing issue right there. Watch, let's, let's play that back. In the gray, nothing left to decay. Wasting all your time, lollygagging all about celebrities. I that, that all about celebrities, man, that kind of threw you off right there a bit. You know what I mean? So, yeah, again, make sure that when, when you're writing your, your verses, right? Um, cause like your, your first draft, um, sometimes it's not always your final draft and never really think of your first draft of when you're writing down your shit as your final draft. Cause it may not be your final draft. You know what I'm saying? Once you write it down, make sure that you practice it several times. And then when you feel, feel like at times when you're, when you're, when you're doing your flow, you know, the, 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 you get that steady flow going. But then at times when you go, you know what I mean? When you're, you're you're trying to squeeze in some syllables. Don't be afraid to go back and rework, you know, certain lines in that verse. You know what I'm saying? That's something that um I had to do. If you listen to all my later stuff versus my earlier stuff, that was something that I had had to develop the patience for over time. You know what I mean? I had to go back and rewrite my stuff because stuff wouldn't be fitting right. I mean, I used to do this a lot. I used to squeeze in syllables at times. Um, some would, would argue that I still do it occasionally, not as much as before. And then there's, and then what happens is when you squeeze in um, syllables on certain parts, you're forced to stretch out certain words on other parts. You know what I'm saying? So, um, again, never be afraid to rework your verse, rework your lines. Sometimes less is more. So you can get your point across by saying less. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes on other parts... You, you may be required to have to say a little more in order to get your point across. You know what I mean? It's always best to practice. Practice makes perfect. That also goes with the case of doing music. You know what I mean? Practice your stuff first. If stuff's not fitting right, rework it. Rewrite it. You know what I mean? Bruh. I got a point to prove like the final round of Creed. Dig in your own grave and I love the sound of dirt and seeds. Waking up. I do like the Creed reference. He says like the final round of Creed. That that can actually work in two ways. You you could be a, a reference to the movie Creed with the boxing or Assassin's Creed. You know what I mean? If if, if he's a gamer, if he plays Assassin's Creed, you know what I'm saying? That, that, like that bar right there can work either way. Like that could be a double. I got a point to prove like the final round of Creed. Dig in your own grave and I love the sound of dirt and seeds. Waking up from the slumber of a giant gonna plead. I've been itching for a purpose, still trying to find my picture perfect, leave them in a furnace. When I found out there were serpent blowing purple in my circle of squirrels, only talking to the. So you had a good flow going there, but I'm not sure if you said swirls or squirrels. Furnace, when I found out there were serpent blowing purple in my circle of squirrels, only talking to the animal. So it sounded like you said circle of, of squirrels. That part right there, I felt like kind of threw it off. I think you need to rework that part too. Because humans always hurtful interrupt my rehearsal break your neck and hear the interrupting my rehearsal that can definitely be be done better as well gurgle controversial in my journal of internal thoughts always spitting thermal popping like a kernel plant to see this fertile about my green like a herbalist okay something I'm noticing right here is your breathing 
that's another thing you need to work on too is your breathing make sure you're you're getting enough air when putting out these lines you know what i'm saying because i'm hearing you get getting a little winded i mean i get it you know what i mean you get a little excited you know what i'm saying and uh so yeah you tend to forget you know to to breathe always remember you know what i mean work work on your breathing for future reference work on your breathing when, when you're when you're when you're flowing you know what i'm saying try to get that rhythm down this ain't a bedtime story, nah, this one's pretty gory I've been flagging down my glory Using everything that's in my inventory Like my name is Lori And it's the night of Halloween Like the final scene Michael killing all the teens Okay, so I could tell that you Cut off one part right there And then you kind of came in loud with the next part But again, I'm not I'm not gonna pick on the mix or whatever Because I know this is just a rough draft um, I think once you finally have it mixed um, It should... It should definitely clean that up a little bit more, making it a little harder to tell, like where you kind of end off versus where you pick right back up again. Now it's time to split farewell, but I'm not really leaving. I'm just splitting skulls open, soaking all. Actually, let me wind that back. I've been flagging down my glory, using everything that's in my inventory. Like my name is Lori, and it's the night of Halloween, like the final. I do appreciate the Halloween bars, by the way. Seen Michael killing all the teens. Now it's time to split farewell, but I'm not really leaving. I'm just splitting skulls open, soaking knowledge for the season. And now I don't need a reason to get violent, cause it's treason and the sentence is death. So now it's time for your deletion of the team, and I know that they won't. Again, you gotta work on your pacing and your breathing a little bit there, because uh, I feel like you were kind of stumbling a little bit there. I wanna see you suck the semen at your penis after you're done with the wank Shooting blanks, time to thank, walk the plank No, I'm not teasing, won't be feasting Won't be rebels and the freedom fighters standing up We light a fire bigger so that everyone will see That the power in the guts and the people will inspire the sheep So if you can't back the message, then you're one of the weak Leave the bullshit at the door, got him begging por favor to Scraping ladders off my porch, real as herpes I like how you worked in a little bit of Spanish right there You know what I'm saying? That, that was actually kind, kind of slick to a whore and when it comes to the score i'm making the beat and when i finally get my money they play it on repeat i like the fact that he shout out the fact that he uh that he makes his own beats like i said he did say that he made this beat i believe that he made this beat and i believe this beat is perfect for what he's going for here but however like i said he he needs to work on his writing um i think he, yeah his pain game definitely definitely needs a little bit more work and uh he definitely needs to practice his flow you know what I mean? And work on his breathing and everything. Work on your pacing. The shit is like a movie, so let's set up a scenario. It's dark and it's raining black and white and there's a stereo. Playing lullaby so that everyone will fall asleep. So I do like right here and appreciate how you're picking up the energy as the, as the song is progressing. I do like that. You start out kind of like this, like, like this low, kind of like brooding, sombering, if that's a word. Um presence and then as the song progresses you're picking up that energy you know what i mean you're getting more manic with it i do like that repeat the shit is like a movie so let's set up a scenario it's dark and it's raining black and white and there's a stereo playing lullaby so that everyone will fall asleep so the men with all black trench coats cut throats blood on the street chunks of meat in the dumpster nobody ever notices all the monsters creeping and hunting you down better you not make a sound cut your sense will hold your breath they're coming from all around Okay, right there, that little closing piece, that was actually not bad. That was actually pretty decent. Never need to. All right, I'm not feeling that, that little gap right there. I feel like it can use a little something. If you wanted to have like a little space between your main verse versus your next piece, that your, your closing piece, fine. But I think you can use a little something there. Um, being that you kind of made some like horror references and whatnot, maybe you could put, implement some some horror sounds. I would like to hear the wind, by the way. I think the wind would have worked right there, you know, perfectly. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> no, uh, maybe not not any wind sounds. But no, if you can implement some kind of like some some horror sounds, because you did make a Halloween reference. You know what I mean? Um, and then you were talking about, you know, poking a bear and things like. So, yeah, this kind of gives me a little bit of a horrorcore type vibe. So, I mean, you, you could have implemented some, some horror sounds in between your main verse and then your closer that's coming up. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, because I'm not a huge fan, fan, of, fan of gaps. You know what I'm saying? Um, or you can throw in some, some ad libs or something to kind of help fill that spot there. Because if you notice, too, in my later songs, 
um, like I, I tend to to space um, some stuff. You know what I mean? Whether it's between my verses and my hooks, and this is why I always use ad libs to kind of fill in those gaps. You know what I mean? So that way, you know, there, there's very little to to no uh, gapage. Um, if that's a proper term, um, <clears throat> in, in my tracks, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying be like me <laughs> or stuff like that, because I mean, Hey, look, everyone's different than your own thing. But I mean, I'm just saying you could throw something in there to, you know, in, in that gap, just to kind of add something to it. And that way there's no like, you know, dead spaces, um, in your track. You know what I mean? Cause I'm me personally, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that, but that's just me though. Never need the validation from the people that be talking smack On my way to greatness, I be slipping like a wall plaque Flow is rotten like you would be thinking that I'm smoking crack Had to bring it back one time, nobody loves a boom bap Nobody gave me chances, so I'm taking all of theirs Leave them off balance, like we playing solitaire Want a reassurance? Well, now I really don't care I was only hibernating, but you poked and woke the sleeping bear Yeah. Again, you need to fix the sleeping bear line, alright? You don't need to say poke and woke the sleeping bear. No, it's poke the sleeping bear. That's all you need to say. That's it. That's all you need. You poked and woke the sleeping bear, bitch. All right, you probably should have cut out the beat right before it, it looped because it sounded like the uh, beat was, was starting to loop right there. It was going to like restart. I think if you cut that little segment out and have just that last little bit of piano, you know, kind of capping that off, it would have been a dope closing. You know what I'm saying? It's still a dope closing. I like how you, uh, you, you let the uh, piano, the melodies and whatnot just kind of like ride out. Uh, but yeah, had you cut it off before the bass kicked back in again, you know what I mean? Before the beat was actually restarting, it would be a much better closer. So I, I cut, I say cut that last second or two off on that beat and just let it end with that, with that doo -doo -doo -doo. just let it end right there and cut that last little part, right? Uh, right? And in case you don't know what I'm talking about right here, that part right there, cut that off. And your closer, it will be a whole lot smoother. Watch. See, you let it end right there. That would be perfect. Letting it do that kills it. Because it sounds like you're, you're going to go again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, and yeah, and it's, that's, that's the only part that, re that really kills the closer for me. So yeah, cut that part off. Let it end with that last little bit of piano before this part comes in. Then the, the, the closer would be much better, in my opinion. And change the sleeping bear line. Before you get it mixed, fix the sleeping bear line. And um, But yeah, overall, not bad, my guy. Uh, keep at it. I say as far as like, as like a, a foundation, a starting point, you're off to a great start. Just... You got to step up your 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 uh, your uh, pen game. You got to step up that flow. Work on your pacing. Work on your breathing. You know what I'm saying. Work on your your syllable count, and you'll be there, man. You'll be there. Um, and again, cut off that last little bit of the of the closing word. Again, the bass line comes back in, and I think it'll be a solid piece. Fix that sleeping bear line, and you have yourself a solid solid starter track. You know what I'm saying, bruh. And that's pretty much all my, my overall thoughts on this, guys. Let me know how you guys feel about it. Again, Bubba, if you want me to uh, share the link, let me know in the comment section down below. And then I'll update the description. So if you want other, other peeps to check this out, you know what I mean, to see for themselves how they feel about it, um, I'll be more than happy to do that. Till then, I'll just link your channel for now. So that way, uh, you know, folks want to hit you up for beats, uh, for features or wh whatever the case they can do that and uh yeah actually i think i have jiminator's channel let me check 
yeah, see, I gotta fix that. I don't know why it's spaced out like that. But yeah, Jimmy Neary J's channel is linked in my video description. So if you guys wanna hit him up for instrumentals, if you wanna uh, hit him up for a feature or whatever, um, his channel is linked in the folks that I rock with section. Wait a minute, where's your video at? Oh, there it is. Uh, his channel is linked in the folks that I rock with section. You know what I'm saying? So feel free to go hit him up. You know what I'm saying? Show my man some love. If you're not subscribed to him, make sure y'all subscribe. You know what I'm saying? My dude makes some dope beats. And uh, I think he's off to a great start as an MC. I see him having a future as an MC. You know what I'm saying? And if you guys agree, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. If you disagree, feel free to let me know that too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, look forward to checking out all y'all's feedback as I always do. And plus, in order for my man to get better, he needs to see some feedback from y'all as well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, please be constructive though. You know what I mean? If you're, um, you know, just talking shit, you know what I mean? Calling my dude names or whatever, or, you know, just, just cursing them out or whatever, your comments will be removed. All right. Cause, uh, this ain't the place for haters to come hang out. All right. We try to be constructive. We try to help people make it, you know what I'm saying? That's what this platform is all about. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, you know, do my best to pay it forward by giving back. You know what I'm saying? I want to help my man, you know what I'm saying, get up there. You know what I mean? Right now, he's currently sitting at 438 subs. I think he deserves much more than that with all the work that he's putting in right now. You know what I'm saying? So, bruh, go hit him up, you know what I'm saying, for beats, features, and, and anything else music related. And, uh, yeah, go show him some love. That will be greatly appreciated. Um, again, you can find his channel in the folks that I rock with section, you know what I'm saying? And if you guys are with this reaction, y'all know what to do with a thumbs up down below. Y'all know what to do with that comment section down below. As I mentioned earlier, again, I look forward to all y'all's feedback and, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, ding that notification bell. That'll be greatly, greatly appreciated. And, uh, yeah. Till the next one, y'all have a blessed one. All right. Peace.